All right, so let's go and create that tables and we are going to use uh, Visual Studio. So let me see to create this. There's different ways to create it. You can use the regular database, but we are going to use the Visual Studio. And before we do anything, okay, so in the Visual Studio, we're going to continue with our code. And it's only going to work if you have installed the integration. And how I know if I had uh, added the integration, if you go here to the extension and you search for integration, you see my install because it has a green. So it's already installed. You need to install that otherwise and uh, close the platform, open it again. Okay. So you need to then have integration in order to uh, process this uh, tables. So we're going to add a new project. And here I'm going to search for integration. And I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to call this uh, Global Retail DW. S -S -I -S. And I'm going to put this because I'm going to have SSAS and reporting. Make sure that you know where this has been stored because you're going to need to submit. Uh, and usually when you want to save is you want to save the whole folder with the project with all other functionalities so you can open in another program in another computer. going to close <clears throat> this basic examples that you can click and see how they work. And in here on the right, I have my uh, solution explorer that has my package, uh, has my project, my packages, uh, control float and everything else. And in the left, I have here my favorites and I have other tasks. Uh, we're not using the other tasks for now because it's already in my favorites. I have already pinned in there, but if it's not, you can look in the other tasks, you'll find it. <clears throat> we'll talk about the data flow tasks and the control flow, but for now, since we want to actually create these tables here, right? First, we're going to do the stage table and then we'll do the shipping, all right? The fact and dimension. So I wanted to drop the table before I can create the table. So I'm going to use an execute task here. I'm going to call this delete. And I'm going to call delete stage. All right, <clears throat> great. However, even if I pull the code here, uh, is not not connection manage is specified. So here in the banner that is connection management. You that is different ways to connect to the server. This is one way, and we're going to do all the ways here anyway. I'm going to right click and set new OLEDB connection. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to delete so you guys can see it. So here, this is what you're going to have for the first time. You're going to click new because you want to connect here to the database. You want to connect to this, to this global retail DW because that's where you wanted to put your database, your, your tables. I'm sorry. That's already the data warehouse. You want to put the tables there. All right. Here, always select the native client. That's the local host. And here you are going to click down and look for the server. Uh, it takes a few seconds for looking for the server. So I just kind of paste there the name of my server so it's faster. Once you put there, you're going to browse for the name of the data warehouse that you want to put your tables. So in my case, it's Global Retail DW because that's what I created here. My repository here is Global Retail DW. So we are going to connect the two programs, uh, the Visual Studio to do the ETL, the Extract, Transform, and Load, and the data, the server, the MSQL server to keep a repository. Okay. And I'm going to say, okay, okay. And in the bottom here, you can see that I already have, it. I'm going to rename this as source. Okay, so now I know. I'm going to double click this 
and in here <clears throat> in the connections if I look for my connection I can find source okay so now I'm saying here in this wizard in this uh, user interface that I want to connect to that here I want to connect to this database and in specific this data warehouse that I created now <clears throat> the statement that I want to put here is very teeny but I have already created here that I said, if the object, object exists, drop it. So that's the first one. That's it. Uh, drop table. Yep. Here is my query and I'm going to say, okay. So that's going to delete. So if I add, if I run this, it's going to delete, but that's going to say, wait, there is nothing there. So after I make sure there is nothing there, then I'm going to create my tables, my table in this case. So here, and I'm going to call this create stage table. And what is the name? Uh, create a stage. That's, that's better. All right. So in the create stage, I'm going to once again connect it to that source. And here in my, mm, let me see what it is. Here is the query for my stage table. It has the key, it has all the keys that are going to be foreign, and it has the source key that I'm going to use to connect with all the data. So here in the statement, I'm going to open and paste that query. And if it's nothing wrong with the syntax, It'll run perfect. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So now I am going to connect the stage to uh, the deleted stage to create table. And I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to run here. And uh, you can see that both of tables run they ran without any promise i have the green and to come out of this is debugging to come out of the bug that is this red button here i'm going to see if i hover said stop debugging i'm going to click i'm going to go back to my regular uh window user interface but i'm going to go to my database and i'm going to refresh and i'm going to make sure that i created the table and in here i have stage global retail but <clears throat> if you open this you'll see that the table is empty because we have not uh, uploaded any data great so we're going to continue and do the other ones <clears throat>